God I'm going to come back sir. Coming from a very tough background, I can't afford to make mistakes. From the University of YouTube, on my first wedding cake, they were expecting a cake matron. Did you know you can earn and make a living by going to the so-called University of YouTube? My guest today has tried it and proved beyond doubt that this is real. As you watch, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. I'm Stephen Masinde. Masinde's confectionery. I'm turning 28. I'm a born again Christian. I was born and raised in Nakuru. Studied in Nakuru as well, um, primary up to my high school until it was cut short at some point. How was life growing up? I, I quite I see. It wasn't easy at all. Um, it was a huge struggle, especially the fact that uh, I lost my mom in 2007 and I was still very young. Then um, my father got uh, got entangled later on. That's where all of my struggles now actually uh, blew out of proportion. Let me tell you, hey, from the University of YouTube, I have learned a lot. I have learned so much. I have learned uh, exciting new things. I, I even got, I even managed to to get a few very important ad advices from bakers who have been there for more than 10 years, five years. How was your first cake? Well, my first cake was a free cake, a very free cake. It was my niece's birthday, my niece's sixth birthday. So my brother's wife just just uh, out of nowhere, she was like, "It's just bake something. Take another to it. You you never know who might like it. You never know how many people might love it, and it actually and turned out very amazing. But then that first cake gave me four referrals that same same week." To me, that was the first ever blessing that I ever got in a very long time. How much did you earn from the referrals? Well, I, I decided to, to, to put my cakes at 15, at, at 1,500 per kg. And um, since I had zero idea of what I was to expect or what to do, financial planning, budgeting and all that, I think that I, I even went back to my own pocket to cater for, yes, for the for the other cakes that really come through, I started baking in Buruburu, Buruburu Phase One. There is a very good friend of mine, Alini Hostuko, for some time. That's where I learned a lot from YouTube, getting to know things, just being innovative, trying to catch up with with the with the current with the current speed. Yeah, the new things. The virus in happen with umpia umpia. Ukifikiria unajua kitu na kujua realize oh, there is something new that somebody else knows. That you also don't know. Masede went back to school, which enabled him to work in different companies. NGO, private NGO, that I managed to go back to school and uh, do my certificate. And that's how I even managed to get attachment with Pride Dean. Kazi at I've actually also worked with Big Square, so it's been an amazing experience. But then Nika realized I was putting so much energy where I felt like it was not giving the same energy back. So I decided, let me venture into the business. And that's how I got into the business. Looking back at where I started from and where I am now, with COVID, with all these pandemics that have been going on, I just thank God. Why did you decide to venture into cake business instead of any other business? I have always, always been talking about starting off my own bakery, my own coffee shop for the longest time. It's a dream and, and a vision I've had and I still have it. For the, and and I'm, I, I'm sure one day I'll come to fulfill it. It's a passion. It, uh, it's something that I learned from my mother. From a very young age, I would see my mom baking, uh, doing things. It was chama, the actual chama. So the way she was very passionate about it, the way she was so self-driven, it, it really inspired me so much. And I was very young. You can imagine back in 2005, 2006, I could observe all these things. I'm looking at your first cake. Mm -hmm. Man, 
<laughs> you're very creative. How do you ensure that your creativity is still on top? As I mentioned before, from the University of YouTube, <laughs> I took time to learn the small details, the nozzles, the piping bags, how to handle them, how to use them, how to spiral them. I took a lot of time. By the time I was even getting this equipment to start using them, I knew what I was going to do. Wow. I knew what I was seeing in in kitu nimechukua tunataka kufanya for the first time. I I took so much time just to study and to understand and to analyze and to see huyu mtu anafanya aje. Anaifinya aje, anaishikilia aje ndio itengeneze that at it it took me time. But by the time I was preparing that first kick I knew it is either I am going a hundred or I'm doing nothing. Who are your clients? Mimi, mm-hmm. my cakes, I I rarely get online orders like from Instagram mm-hmm. or from Facebook. I rarely or YouTube rarely get online orders. Now this one guys, it's time for you to give Masida that job for cake. <laughs> He doesn't get online clients be the first one. Mm-hmm. But this is how I get my cake orders through referrals. Wow. Reason being, I believe in my work. I know the effort, the energy and the passion that I put into my work. That's why so many of my orders they come through referral because I believe my cakes are good. Yeah. yeah. Start with you. Mtu anapiga simu anakuambia Nilionja keki yako kwa birthday ya fulani. I want the same flavor but a different design. That's why unapata in most cases I tend to sell the same kind of flavor mm-hmm. but different design. Sometimes you bake but you find this cake doesn't maybe taste the way you'd want it, the mm-hmm. design is not good. So do you throw it away? Do you give it to people and you redo the work? We confession. I have thrown so many cakes. Away. Ah, you can't be serious. So many cakes. Mimi if I bake a cake and it is not par the standards that I feel like I'm contented, I will throw it away. Cuz I don't want my customer to feel neglected in a way. I want to fit into my customer's shoes. If I were my customer, what would I have felt? Wow. At times unapata a customer anakuambia mimi masinde ever since I started getting cakes from you i have never looked at any other avenue any other place to get cakes mm-hmm. that's why i have always given you referrals i've always given you referrals because i believe in your work and getting such words of encouragement from your customers it's what keeps me moving how about the losses are you making any profit for you to get to where you, to the level that you want to get to that you aspire to get to there has to be sacrifices that you have to endure nothing comes on a silver platter I have sacrificed a lot. I have gone back to my pocket to satisfy customers. And that's how I have managed to man- to maintain my customers. And that's that's how I've managed to get to where I am. Okay. It's been just a short period of 2 years, but at times I look back I even reflect back I'm like oh by the way God. Hata sijui ni sema aje. God ametoa mali sana. As he reflects on his past life, emotions start running high ah it's okay it's okay uh, coming from a very tough background um At times I I feel like I tend I tend at times I feel like I, I can't I can't afford to make mistakes. Ju nikiangalia mali nimetoka na mali Mungu ananipeleka mbali sana. I have a very bright future. I have so much to give. I have so much to give out here. I have so much to leave for people out here. Nataka by the time I'm going six feet under, there is something I've left behind that people will live to remember. My story might not be the hardest or the toughest, but I am sure it is an inspiration to somebody out there.
I want to break that mm. line of that cast poverty in our family. I just want I want my family to be at peace. I want to leave a legacy for my family. I want to make my father and my mother proud wherever they are. I want to show God that the blessings and the power that he's always been instilling in me has never gone in vain. Is there someone who has ever discouraged you starting up this business or maybe quitting the job that you once did to start cake business? Hey, when I started this business, I thought I had friends. I thought I had friends until I came to learn who my real friends are. I got so much discouragement from my, people I thought were my closest friends. People I thought they would support me. They're the ones who actually fled me. Because there's this mentality, there's this notion that friends tend to have. Once you've ventured into a business venture, wanna, in their mentality, you want to believe, Uyo Asha Omoka. Asha make it. But they don't take the time to understand the struggles that you've gone through, the struggles, the effort that you're putting into that business for it to get where you, you, you want it to get to. They don't understand that the small money that you're making out of that business is still going back to the business for it to grow. Hijafika level at Intasema, the money is working for me. No, this is not just a company I've decided to start it from. At a billion or, or something. It is something I've decided to start from scratch, knowing the fact that I quit my job due to my father's encouragement because I had to make him believe in my dream. I had to make him believe in my vision. And he believed. Millennials, they only believed in if you're not a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, or or these other very famous careers, you're doing nothing in this life. But it took me time to convince my father that I have a business venture. And he's the same, same man that encouraged me. Wachana na kazi. Usikubali people to keep on using and misusing your energy. Yet you can put that energy into something that will gradually grow. I've delivered my work as far as Nyawururu. Naivasha, Nakuru, Eldoret, and surprisingly, I personally take them. Wedding cakes, I've taken a wedding cake to Kitui, I've taken uh, cakes Zarurashio all the way to Kitale from Nairobi. So there's nothing that is impossible. And people don't understand about tall cakes, it's, it's the same weight as the normal cakes. The same, same weight. But not the difference is, these are slim and they are tall. It's the new trend that is happening. This is a new trend that, that is that is going around. These are amazing cakes. They're amazing design. So I remember my first wedding cake. They were expecting a uh, cake matron. Even, they were even surprised that hey, squeeze <laughs> So that's what keeps me moving, keeps me going, because it's encouraging, knowing very well that we are dominating a field that has not always been dominated by men. And also corporate cakes. I've also done so many co corporate cakes, and it's been an amazing journey getting a company that is well established and trusting you with your work. If someone wants to learn about baking, do you teach? Yes, I do teach. I do teach, but not at a very huge capacity. <laughs> but gradually, I'm still growing because at the end of it all, it's not just about teaching. It's all about learning from each other. Let's not just focus on the negative people. Mm -hmm. There are also people who are good, who maybe they had encouraged you. Keep doing things, you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. One day, one mm -hmm. time, you'll be there. Did you find such kind of people? Ah, work of one, a whole team, a whole team. <laughs> so, um, my very first, very first and main supporter is my sister. She's a uh, faith. You've done a lot. She's been there throughout. She's 
pushed me she supported me my second supporter has been uh, my best friend Jedida she's uh, she's seen me from my first cake zile keki tumezitupa zote tumeziona zingine tumezikula zingine tumepeana we've given out so many free cakes but she's always kept uh, encouraging me and supporting me and pushing me to to strive even harder my third supporter is my sister in law Yvonne. Yvonne, god bless you god bless you may god bless you may god fill your home may god fill your heart you've been a, a, a huge source of encouragement umeni push like she's really pushed me so hard advertising doing marketing and all that she's really really tried to push me and it's it's amazing it's it's very rare getting a sister in law who can do all that to you in my family at large the few friends who have been there throughout for me god bless you all my clients i love you so much mimo you know i am always witty and all over i'm very directive so god bless you all at the beginning some people ran away and refused to pay the agreed amount but now masede is more wiser uh one occasion but twice and thrice actually three times there are customers who have disappeared with my my balances and sijai weka hai i don't have hard feelings cuz business is business this is a, it's an experience for me i'm learning from it gradually and i'm i'm also growing out of it cuz i can't live my life being bitter always bitter of things that maybe it's god who did this for me to see how things should be run how things should be going given a chance mm. what is that one thing you can change about uh baking business teaching customers on how to handle bakers at times we 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 tend to say that yes cuz the customer is always right but at the same time you're forgetting this baker this person is give, providing for you the services is also a human being like you so if you come and handle me in a very negative perspective i will definitely not be able to handle your order in a positive way he insists that you can make good money in this business but you have to be smart it has money for the ones who are smart but if you look at the business in a in a, in a financial perspective perspective of it you will never strive i usually advise my customers cuz most of my customers uh, get get to get uh, get to me through referrals so i advise them the best time to place an order it's so at least at, at least the minimum it's uh, it should be 72 hours prior 1 kg pesa kidogo it's only 2300 pesa kidogo sana pesa kidogo sana but trust me mm-hmm. you will love the cake so you can find me on instagram at masindes confectionery and also on facebook the same masindes confectionery although facebook is still a new page but pole pole too i'll be I'm growing gradually and um and you can also get me via my contacts at 0705 725361 to place your order are you happy we nasikia fit i'm contented nasikia tu poyani nasikia tu at least i somebody has recognized my work somebody has seen my artistry and they are appreciating what i'm presenting out here so i'm i'm more than happy i'm i'm, I'm just excited i'm just happy <laughs> Got to read out the traveler. Got to read out the traveler.